ever tried choosing between a surface drive and an outboard motor? It's like deciding between a mud-slinging monster truck and a luxury sports car. Both cool, both powerful, but wildly different rides. One skims across marshes like a caffeinated duck. The other slices through open water smoother than your uncle's dance moves at a wedding. Today, we're diving into fuel economy, maintenance, noise levels, and even which one makes docking less embarrassing. Spoiler alert, one of them will save your pride at the marina. Let's settle this once and for all. Let's kick things off with one of the biggest concerns for any boat owner, fuel efficiency. Because let's be honest, no one wants to burn through their tank before they've even caught a fish or hit their favorite cove. Outboard motors, particularly modern four-stroke models, are well known for their efficiency. These engines are light, powerful, and packed with smart tech. Whether you're idling through the marina or cruising at a steady RPM, they tend to sip fuel rather than guzzle it. And when you're covering long distances in open water, that consistent fuel usage becomes a big win for your wallet and your range. Surface drives, on the other hand, tell a slightly different story. They're built for a specific purpose, and they excel at it. In extremely shallow waters, full of mud, weeds, and submerged obstacles, traditional props struggle and create a ton of drag. That drag means more throttle and more fuel. But surface drives? They skim right across the top, avoiding most of that resistance altogether. In those conditions, you might actually see better fuel performance than you'd expect. They're essentially the off-roaders of the boating world. Now here's where it gets tricky. The minute you take both systems out of their comfort zones, their fuel habits shift. Push a surface drive to higher speeds in open water, it starts to burn more fuel and loses efficiency. Put an outboard in heavy vegetation or extremely shallow backwaters. It's not just less efficient, it might not survive the trip. So who takes the crown? If you're mostly boating in deep or open waters, outboards offer better all-around fuel economy. But if your adventures take you into the marshes or shallow backwaters, surface drives might surprise you with how little they drink, at least until you crank them wide open. In the end, it's not about who's better, it's about who's better for where you boat. Where do you boat most? Shallow backwaters or open lakes? Drop a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're into real-world boat breakdowns like this. Let's shift gears and talk speed. And not just the kind that gets your hair blowing in the wind, but the kind that can mean the difference between gliding effortlessly across the water or getting stuck in the muck. Surface drives were built with one thing in mind. High performance in shallow, challenging waters. Their semi-submerged propellers reduce drag by staying mostly above the waterline, which allows the hull to lift and plane quickly. Less resistance equals more speed, and that design shines when you're navigating flats, mud, or vegetation-heavy zones. It's why they're the go-to for shallow water hunters, marsh-running mud boats, and even some racing setups. You'll find them tearing through terrain that would make a standard outboard wave the white flag. But don't count out the modern outboard. Today's models have come a long way. With clean-burning four-stroke engines and increasingly refined gear ratios, many deliver impressive acceleration and top-end performance, especially in multi-engine configurations. Twin and triple outboards aren't just about redundancy. They're about blistering speed, smooth power delivery, and surgical control on open water. The key difference? Where and how that speed is used. Outboards excel on open lakes, rivers, and coastal waters. They're smoother, more refined, and designed for consistent performance at cruising speeds. Surface drives? They're like the off-roaders of the marine world, able to power through where others bog down, but a bit rougher around the edges when it comes to comfort and ride quality. In a shallow bay or marshy swamp, the surface drive eats obstacles for breakfast, 
But if you're hauling across big water with gear, guests, or distance in mind, the outboard's balance of speed and control can't be beat. So who's faster? Technically, it's a tie, until you consider where you're going. Then the winner becomes crystal clear. Let's talk handling, because going fast is fun, but eventually, you've got to slow down and steer the thing. Whether you're pulling into a dock, threading through a narrow river, or pivoting in place, maneuverability can make or break your boating experience. When it comes to precise handling at low speeds, outboards are the clear front runner. Today's systems are incredibly advanced, with features like power tilt and trim, electronic throttles, and even joystick piloting systems from brands like Yamaha and Mercury, navigating a marina feels more like parking a luxury SUV than driving a boat. Want to spin in a tight circle or slide sideways into a slip? There's an outboard setup for that. Reverse? Outboards nail it, fluid, responsive, and predictable. Plus, the learning curve is fairly gentle. Whether you're a seasoned captain or just getting your sea legs, docking with an outboard is a whole lot less stressful. Now surface drives? They're built for wide open, unpredictable terrain, not tight dockside choreography. While they absolutely excel at high-speed maneuvering in shallow, obstacle-ridden waters, low-speed handling can be, let's just say, tricky. Turning radiuses are wider, and backing up isn't exactly straightforward. It's not that they can't do it, it's that they require more finesse, more practice, and sometimes more room. Think of it this way. Outboards are the scalpel, precise, clean, and refined. Surface drives are the machete, powerful and rugged, but not exactly subtle. So where does that leave you? If your day involves navigating crowded docks, narrow canals, or anchoring in tight coves, go with the outboard. But if your style is more about blasting across remote flats or weaving through flooded timber where tight turns at speed matter more than parallel parking, surface drives still pull their weight. Different tools, different playgrounds. It's all about choosing the right one for your journey. Let's face it, boats are fun, but maintenance? Not so much. Still, it's part of the deal. So the real question is, which engine type demands less of your time, effort, and wallet off the water? When it comes to ease of maintenance, outboards take the lead. Today's models are designed with user-friendliness in mind. Routine tasks like oil changes, replacing spark plugs, and swapping fuel filters are straightforward and often doable in your driveway with a decent tool set. Plus, parts are widely available, and nearly every marina has a tech or two who can service outboards in their sleep. And then there's diagnostics. Many outboards now come with built-in systems that tell you what's wrong before you even reach for the toolbox. For most boaters, especially those who just want to turn the key and go, that's a huge plus. Surface drives, on the other hand, aren't quite as hands-off. These machines are tough, designed to plow through mud, debris and weeds without flinching. But that toughness comes at a price. Maintenance is more involved. You're dealing with exposed shafts, multiple seals, grease fittings and components that live in the harshest part of the boat. The drive end. Regular inspection and lubrication are non-negotiable if you want to avoid breakdowns in the middle of nowhere. Also because surface drives often operate in abrasive, shallow environments, wear and tear tends to accumulate faster. And while parts aren't necessarily hard to find, they're more specialized, and not every shop is equipped or experienced enough to handle them. So it boils down to this. Are you someone who enjoys the satisfaction of maintaining your machine, getting your hands dirty, and learning how it all works? Then, a surface drive might be right up your alley, but if you'd rather just enjoy the ride with minimal downtime, an outboard offers far more plug-and-play peace of mind. Now let's talk about something your ears and your passengers will definitely notice. Noise and vibration. Because while speed and power are great, nobody wants to feel like they're boating inside a blender. 
When it comes to peace and quiet, outboards are the clear winner. Today's four-stroke outboards are engineering masterpieces when it comes to noise control. Even at higher RPMs, you can carry on a conversation without shouting. Many models come equipped with advanced sound dampening materials, cushioned mounts, and finely tuned power curves that make them whisper quiet compared to older two-stroke versions, or their surface drive cousins. Surface drives, on the other hand, bring the noise, literally. They're raw, mechanical, and aggressive. At idle, they rumble. Hit the throttle and they roar, especially in shallow water where that prop is half out of the water, catching air and splashing through mud and reeds. For some, that sound is music, the aquatic equivalent of a V8 muscle car. For others, especially on long hauls, it's just plain loud. Vibration is another key factor. Outboards are usually well balanced and designed to minimize feedback through the hull. Surface drives, especially in rough conditions, tend to transfer more vibration into the boat. If you're running a lightweight skiff, you'll feel it. And if you've got family or guests aboard expecting a calm ride, that constant buzz might wear thin pretty quickly. So, what's your vibe, literally? If you love the idea of stealthy cruises and serene lakeside sunsets, go outboard. But if you're into rugged terrain, adrenaline, and don't mind a little rumble in your ride, surface drives deliver that untamed feel in spades. At the end of the day, it's less about noise levels and more about your noise tolerance. Let's talk about the one category that hits everyone, your wallet. Whether you're building your first setup or upgrading a beast, price and long-term value matter. A lot. Outboard motors offer incredible variety. From small 9.9 horsepower trolling engines to 600 horsepower monsters designed to power offshore cruisers, there's an outboard for every budget and purpose. They're modular, meaning you can start with one and add more later. And if you ever want to upgrade or sell, Outboards hold their value fairly well, thanks to a huge second-hand market and broad brand recognition. Plus, outboards are everywhere. That availability drives competition, which helps keep prices competitive. Need parts? You'll find them at most marinas. Need service? Nearly every boat mechanic is trained on them. This accessibility translates to lower maintenance costs and a higher long-term value for owners. Surface drives, meanwhile, live in a more specialized world. There are fewer brands, fewer units produced, and often the engine is part of a full boat package designed for specific environments like shallow swamps, rivers, or backwater marshes. While this can limit your choices, it also means many surface drive packages are purpose-built and built tough. Interestingly, Entry-level surface drives can be surprisingly affordable, especially for hunters and anglers who don't need high horsepower, but need dependable performance in rugged conditions. But resale? That's where it gets tricky. Fewer buyers means a smaller market, and if you want to upgrade, you might be waiting longer to find someone who shares your niche. So what's the best value? If you want flexibility, easier resale, and a wide range of price points, outboards win. But if you're laser focused on specific environments and want power built for the task, a surface drive might deliver more value per dollar within its domain. As always, it comes down to purpose. Price tags don't lie, but they don't tell the whole story either. Now that we've broken down the details, let's zoom out and look at how these engines perform in real-world scenarios because all the specs in the world mean nothing if the setup doesn't match how you use your boat. Picture this. You're an angler pushing deep into remote backwaters. You're weaving through flooded timber, bouncing off stumps, plowing through marsh grass, and skimming over inches of water. This is where the surface drive lives its best life. It doesn't flinch at logs. It doesn't get choked by weeds. It's built for abuse, and it thrives in chaos. Duck hunters, shallow river adventurers, and backcountry explorers, 
This one's made for you. Now flip the scene. You're on a wide lake, or cruising the intercoastal, towing a tube or hopping between sandbars with family. You want reliability, quiet operation, and effortless navigation through deeper waters and crowded marinas. That's where the outboard shines. It's the all-rounder, the SUV of the boating world. Whether it's fishing, cruising, or water sports, it handles it all with grace. And here's the real kicker. Many boaters make the mistake of picking the wrong tool for the job. They'll see a surface drive and think, that thing looks like it could survive a war, only to realize it's complete overkill for their weekend lake trips. Or they'll grab an outboard for a hunting boat and curse every time they get stuck in the mud or snap a prop. So ask yourself, where do you boat most often? What obstacles do you face? What matters more, rugged durability or refined versatility? Match the machine to your mission. Because when you pick the right power for your environment, you don't just get a better boating experience, you get more time doing what you love and less time regretting your choices. The verdict. Which one truly reigns supreme? So, after all the comparisons, who wears the crown, surface drive or outboard? The honest answer. It's not about which is better overall, it's about which is better for you. Let's break it down. Outboards take the lead in most scenarios, especially on open water. But in weed-choked shallows, surface drives hold their own. Surface drives dominate in shallow, off-road-like conditions. For long-distance cruising and top-end refinement, that's an outboards game. Outboards win by a mile, especially in tight marinas or docking situations. Outboards are more user-friendly with simpler upkeep. Surface drives? Tough but high maintenance. If you want peace and quiet, go outboard. If you like your boat to growl, surface drives bring the noise. Outboards offer flexibility, scalability, and better resale value. Surface drives deliver unmatched value in very specific use cases. Here's the deal. If your boating lifestyle involves navigating through mud, logs, and razor-thin water levels, and you want brute force durability? The surface drive is your gladiator, rugged, relentless, and built for battle. But if you want a do-it-all engine that balances efficiency, control, comfort, and performance across a wide range of boating adventures, whether that's fishing, tubing, cruising, or just relaxing, then the outboard is your go-to. It's versatile, refined, and ready for almost anything. So who reigns supreme? The one that matches your mission. Choose the engine that fits your water, your needs, and your boating life. That's how you win. Now I want to hear from you. What's on your transom and why? Drop a comment below and tell us your story. If you learned something new, give this video a like. And if you're all about getting the most from your boat, consider subscribing. We've got more breakdowns, comparisons, and deep dives coming soon. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy boating.